The number one question I get every time I post a kayaking video of me sightcasting redfish is where is this location? Where is this marsh? How do I get to this location? Where is the launch spot? So today I'm going to hook you guys up in light of the holiday spirit. We're going to show you a video of a nice little sightcasting spot. This spot that I'm going to show you today with the footage of me catching fish. Actually, I didn't get to sightcast because there was a major cold front coming through the Texas coast and this was day two of that cold front and there were 20 mile per hour winds gusts up to 25 mile per hour. Quick quick update it is too windy I can't be fishing and it's super shallow I'm talking about I can't even push pull myself against the wind coming back home is going to be quite an adventure honestly. Oh god Nick please please make smarter decisions Yeah, I guess pretty shallow here. Well, I gotta get out. There's no freaking way. I'm gonna be sinking in the mud, but I can't. I got to get stuck. Coming from the north northeast, so therefore the water. Being low as it is normally on a nice calm day was even lower, almost non-existent. So sight casting at this spot was virtually almost impossible. However, trust me guys, you gotta take my word for it, this spot is known to sight cast redfish. I've done it a few times already on my videos. You just gotta go on a calm day, probably around the spring, summer, fall time. It's gonna be your best bet. Winter time at this area, probably not a good idea because there's really not gonna be any water. Okay, here we go. This is Sargent. All right, Sargent is only an hour and a half drive from Houston. It's not much further from Galveston, Freeport, or even uh, Bolivar when you have to cross a ferry from Galveston. And Sargent is, in my opinion, one of the good places to fish because you have Matagorda Bay, which is connected to Sargent. And Sargent is in between Freeport and Matagorda. So therefore, the water quality, depending on which side of Sargent you're on, more the Brazoria, more the uh, Matagorda side. In general, uh, it being near the Matagorda side is more clear, I guess, compared to what you'll see on the Brazoria County side or even Freeport. So therefore, it's a place that I like to go. I don't go a lot, but it is a good place to go to sightcast redfish. Um, you're going to cross the drawbridge here, then you're going to go down 457 all the way to get right here. And this is the boat launch right here. This is the boat launch. So the coordinates here is right there on your screen. So what you're going to do is you're going to launch your kayak and then you're going to make a nice stroll down the ICW here all the way to get to Caney Creek. This is Caney Creek right here. And what I like to do is when I fish this area is I'll go down Caney Creek all the way down all the way down till I get to this area right here. This is the marsh that I like to sight cast and water clarity is fairly clear. And as you can look at Google Maps, you can see all these, the sand flats and whatever. The uh, You can see pretty much the ground from the aerial view. That shows you right there that this area is very, very shallow. On a normal day, like say summer day, when water levels are usually more higher than usual, level is probably going to get up to two feet max, like right over here around the marsh area right here. And when winter comes and you have north winds blow that water back out to the gulf, the water levels can get down to inches. When you launch right here, like I said, you want to, I would recommend you hug this ICW shoreline right here all the way. And look for blow-ups. It doesn't get really deep until you get in the, to the middle of the ICW. So right here, I believe it was like one feet dropping down to four feet. Um, and then when you get close to the middle ICW, obviously it gets deeper. So keep your eye out for some blow-ups. And another, another thing to remind you guys, the pedal from here, let's, let's go and actually measure this out. Let's measure it right here. Okay, as you can see guys, this is not an easy pedal to do. From your boat launch all the way to the bottom of the marsh as you see here, it's close to three, it's pretty much three miles, okay? So if you're 
not in kayak shape. Um, it's going to be a tougher, tougher pedal for you. Um, I recommend that you guys, you know, get some practice for long distance um, pedaling or paddle. Well, if you're on a paddle kayak, I really don't recommend doing this. Just be aware the current starts really moving because you have the Gulf right here. All right, so be aware. Um, I would time it with um, your tide movements go during a high tide and also be aware that it gets really deep around here in Caney Creek if I remember it was like 30 feet so be be very careful also be very wary if you're going from the ICW all the way to this area right here there's a lot of boat traffic you have the barges from the ICW so be wary of that also you have a lot of you know regular boaters anglers posting up all up on this Caney Creek um, because they're catching trout, they're catching redfish because it's pretty deep and they use uh, live bait and whatnot. I've seen many boaters, so be careful there because there's a lot of traffic. But anyways, when you get back here to Kenya, or when you get back here to this ditch, this marsh, you won't really see any boaters at all because it gets too, too skinny for them to come in. And that's where the kayak shines. All this area right here is rich with marsh system. Um, you can side cast redfish. You'll be able to see them if the water clarity is good. You'll see them tailing. Um, there's not any grass flats, mostly sand and mud flats. Uh, but when they're cruising along in that in that sand flat, you can see their dorsal fin in their back. You can see their fins come up. You can see the wakes. You can see them blow up on uh, bait fish. As I said, this is a nice, nice area to side cast redfish, and I've done it many, many times. Going back to the video, as you can see, I caught a flounder right along this channel. This is another place that you don't want to ignore. All right, we're gonna start off with the bio baits. The swim, uh, the swimming bait from bio bases is a smelt color right here. There we go, nice. First fish on and it's a flounder. That's for sure, oh, it's a good flounder. That's a good flounder. Good flounder. <laughs> On the bio bait, baby. Oh, nice. Got off. Oh, sweet. Heck yeah, boy. Check that out, fellas. First fish this morning. Caught him just fishing this, uh, this drop from about 0.6 feet to 2 feet. And he smoked that bio bait. It's the smell color. A lot of you guys have asked me. The smell color has been working pretty good on the Texas coast, but that's a pretty fish right here. 18 inches on the dot. Eight, well, 18 and a quarter pretty much, but eight, we'll just say 18 inches. Nice flounder with some good meat on him too. It's not deep at all. It goes from one feet or like maybe half foot on the grass line itself on this uh, channel and then drops down to two and a half, three feet. And then when you get towards more in the middle, I think it gets six or seven feet, but I've, I've caught many fish just, you know, blind casting this, uh, this grass line here. All right, now that you saw me catch that flounder on the channel and you guys know to target it, uh, so when you come into this marsh, you're gonna come through this area here. It gets really shallow here and right here, I think it's about four feet. However, when you get up to like this area, it gets really shallow, like inches of water. And then when you come back into this main channel here, I think it's four feet also. And this is also a very nice area to fish, especially if you do want to come in in winter time, as you'll see in the in the uh, the footage in just a second. That I've caught a lot of my redfish on this particular day at this channel, especially at this opening right here. And I believe there's some shell oystered right in this area here, right in the middle of this channel that you guys can target if you're going to fish in the winter time. There we go. There we go. Fish on. That uh, feels like a redfish. Yeah, smaller red. <laughs> oh, he let go. Oh well. All right. So what's happening, guys? Is we're just fishing this deep channel that leads into this back lake that we just came out of. It drops about five feet, but there are some oyster markings. What I'm doing is just slow jigging the middle. There we go. Nice little redfish, I think. Yeah, small little red. <laughs> oh, at least not. At least it's better than catching nothing, in my opinion. Let's zoom out here. So when you, like I said, when you're fishing in the winter time, you're fishing this channel, target these drains here. Um, it's a good holding place for flounder redfish. You gotta kind of fish it slow. 
be mindful also that this channel also has a pretty good current depending on the tide situation. Let me just talk about a little bit about this area right here. As I said many times in this video, this is a nice area to sight cast redfish. You just want to kind of work your, you, you kind of want to work the grass line, all right? This is the structure for the predatory fish. They cruise up and down um, this grass line, blowing up bait. Um, this is where I target the grass line. I'm standing up on my kayak, I'm push pulling myself around, and I'm looking for redfish, any kind of signs of a redfish, so like a wake or a visibility through the clarity of the water, um, a blow up, the dorsal fin, um, anything, just, just keep your eyes open. I encourage you guys to explore all around this these areas, these cuts, depending on how deep the water is, as I said, once again, this area is really, really shallow normally. I think max up to two feet of water, uh, but very, very good area to fish and side cast for redfish. So there you have it guys. I hope this helps. If you do go out and you do have some success, please leave it down in the comment below. Let me know. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. If this video helps at all or um, it doesn't help. I truly appreciate your feedback, but I just really wanted to show you guys a nice side casting spot near the Galveston Freeport area because a lot of you guys always ask me so therefore I just wanted to hook you guys up but keep in mind you do need some kayaking experience uh, for a beginner kayaker I probably will not recommend you go there um, I would probably this would this spot is more geared probably towards a more intermediate kayaker to the advanced kayaker uh, depending on how much shape you're in and what kind of kayak you have whether it's paddle versus pedal but that's going to be it for me guys i hope you really enjoyed this video if you like this video make sure you hit that like button if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button and uh, like i said let me know what you think about comments you want some more spots ask me uh, we'll see what we can do and uh, make sure you subscribe because i post videos um, frequently every week uh, two to three videos every week so hit that bell notification and um yeah i hope you really enjoyed the video guys and uh I'll catch you guys on the next one.